Hey friends, Miss Cassie here with Soul and Public Library's Digital Storytime. <laughs> we need to start with our welcome song. So we're gonna wiggle our fingers <laughs> and shake our hands and rub them together really fast, really fast, really fast and put them on our knees. All right, here we go. If you wanna read a book, clap your hands. If you wanna read a book, clap your hands. If you wanna read a book, have a seat and take a look. If you wanna read a book, clap your hands. Okay, what do we do after we clap our hands? That's right, we stomp our feet. <laughs> if you wanna read a book, stomp your feet. If you wanna read a book, stomp your feet. If you wanna read a book, have a seat and take a look. If you wanna read a book, stomp your feet. Okay, what do we do after we stomp our feet? That's right, we twirl around. <laughs> If you wanna read a book, twirl around. If you wanna read a book, twirl around. If you wanna read a book, have a seat and take a look. If you wanna read a book, twirl around. Okay, for our last verse, we're gonna be as quiet as we can and we're gonna whisper, hooray. If you wanna read Whisper hooray, hooray. If you wanna read a book, whisper hooray, hooray. If you wanna read a book, have a seat and take a look. If you wanna read a book, whisper hooray, hooray. Right, our theme song this month is called I'll Take You Riding. And it's a variation on Woody Guthrie's song called Riding in My Car. And we are going to go riding on three different vehicles. <laughs> so the first vehicle is our bike. So we're gonna pretend like we're holding on the handlebars and we're gonna be riding <laughs> down the street. If you want, you can use your feet to pedal like you would on a bike, or you can just hold the handlebar. The second vehicle we're gonna ride on is our boat. And we are gonna put our hands on the steering wheel of our boat and we're gonna go up and down like there's waves in the lake where we're riding on our boat. And the third vehicle we're gonna ride in is our car. And we are gonna be the cool kids in the car. We're gonna put one hand on the steering wheel and we're gonna put one arm outside our window and we're gonna drive like this in our car. <laughs> okay, are you ready? So the first vehicle, do you remember what it is? That's right, it's our bike. So put your hands on your handlebars and we're gonna go riding on our bike. I'll take you riding on my bike, bike. Take you riding on my bike, bike. Take you riding on my bike, bike. I'll take you riding on my bike. Okay, what was our second vehicle? That's right, it's our boat. So we've got our hands on our boat steering wheel and we're gonna go up and down on the waves. Take you riding on my boat, boat. Take you riding on my boat, boat. Take you riding on my boat, boat. I'll take you riding on my boat. Good job. Okay, do you remember what our third and last vehicle is? That's right, it's our car. We're gonna put one hand on the steering wheel and one hand out the window. And we're gonna drive like this with our car. I'll take you riding in my car, car. Take you riding in my car, car. I'll take you riding in my car, car. I'll take you riding in my car. <laughs> Yay! Good job! Our first book today is going to be about the first vehicle in our song. Do you remember what that was? I'll give you a hint. That's right. Bikes. We're going to read some books about bikes today. And our first book is called Duck on a Bike. Do ducks ride bikes? In this story they do. And this book is written and illustrated by David Shannon. You might know some of his other books like No David or Duck on a Tractor. 
And this one is fun, just like those are. One day, down on the farm, Duck got a wild idea. I bet I could ride a bike, he thought. He waddled over to where the boy parked his bike, climbed on, and began to ride. At first, he rode very slowly and wobbled a lot, but it was fun. Have you ever ridden a bike? Yeah, the first time you ride a bike, it's kind of wobbly, whether it's a big kid bike or a balance bike or even a tricycle. It takes some practice, and that's what Duck is doing. He is practicing. Duck rode past Cow and waved to her. Hello, Cow, said Duck. Moo said Cow, but what she thought was a duck on a bike? That's the silliest thing I've ever seen. Then Duck rode past Sheep. Hello, Sheep, said Duck. What sound does a sheep make? Yeah, <laughs> said Sheep, but what she thought was he's going to hurt himself if he's not careful. Duck was riding better now. He rode past Dog. Hello, Dog, said Duck. Woof, said Dog. But what he thought was, that is a mighty neat trick. Then Duck rode past Cat. Hello, Cat, said Duck. What sound does a cat make? Yeah, meow, said cat. But what she thought was, I wouldn't waste my time riding a bike. Duck pedaled a little faster. He rode past horse. Hello, horse, said duck. Nay, said horse. But what he thought was, you're still not as fast as me, duck. <laughs> Look at his face. He's thinking, oh, I'm so much better than you because I'm faster. <laughs> duck rang his bell, ring, ring, as he rode toward chicken. Hello, chicken, said duck. Cluck, cluck, said chicken. But what she thought was, watch where you're going, duck. Yeah, look, duck almost ran chicken over. That wasn't very kind. Then Duck rode past Goat. What is Goat eating? Garbage. Did you know that goats are omnivores? That means they eat everything, even tin cans sometimes. Yum. <laughs> Hello, Goat, said Duck. Mah, said Goat. But what he thought was, I'd like to eat that bike. Duck stood on the seat and rode past pig and pig. Hello, pigs, said Duck. What sound does a pig make? Oink, oink, said pig and pig. But what they thought was, Duck is such a show off. Maybe they rolled their eyes a little bit too. Can you do that? Ugh, what a show off. <laughs> then Duck rode no hands past Mouse. Hello, Mouse, said Duck. Squeak, said Mouse. But what he thought was, I wish I could ride a bike just like Duck. Look, do you see how Mouse is looking at Duck? with his hands clasped like this, and he's looking up at Duck so admiringly. He does wish he could be just like Duck. Suddenly, a whole bunch of kids came down the road on their bikes. They were in such a hurry, they didn't see Duck. They parked their bikes by the house and went inside. That's so many bikes. Do you think Duck will ride all the kids' bikes? Maybe. 
who's looking at the bikes? All the other farm animals who saw Duck riding his bike all around the farm. Hmm. Now all the animals had bikes. They rode around and around the barnyard. This is fun, they all said. Good idea, duck. <laughs> and look, they're all riding. Do you see the two pigs on the tandem bicycle? A tandem bicycle is a bicycle for two people that still usually only has two wheels. And you have to pedal at the same time and work together as a team to get that bicycle to work. That seems like the perfect bicycle for pig and pig, don't you think? Yeah, oh and look, Mouse is riding on the handlebars of Duck's bike because those bikes all look a little too big for Mouse, don't you think? Yeah. Then, so after they rode around and around the barnyard, they put the bikes back by the house. And no one knew that on that afternoon there had been a cow, a sheep, a dog, a cat, a horse, a chicken, a goat, two pigs, a mouse, and a duck on a bike. The end. Oh, and do you see what vehicle is in this last picture? It's a tractor. Do you remember that I said at the beginning of this story that there's another book called Duck on a Tractor? That's right. This looks like the beginning of his next adventure, don't you think? <laughs> and if you want to read that story, we have it here at the library and you can check it out and read it at home and see what happens when Duck rides a tractor. <laughs> Just like the animals in Duck on a Bike followed or copied what Duck was doing, we are going to sing a song called Do As I'm Doing. And I'm going to do some actions and I want you to follow me. And sometimes I'm going to go fast or high or low and I want you to follow me and do the same thing. Are you ready? Okay, great. So we're going to start with clapping. Do as I'm doing, follow, follow me. Do as I'm doing, follow, follow me. If I do it high or low, if I do it fast <laughs> or slow, do as I'm doing, Follow, follow me, do as I'm doing, follow, follow me. <laughs> Good job. Okay, we're going to change actions. Let me think of one. Okay, here we go. We're going to go like this. Do as I'm doing, follow, follow me, do as I'm doing, follow, follow me. If I do it high or low, if I do it fast or slow, do as I'm doing, follow, follow me. Do as I'm doing, follow, follow me. Good job. Okay, we're gonna do one more. We're gonna march. And you can do this in your seat like I am, or you can stand up and you can have your feet march too. Here we go. Do as I'm doing, follow, follow me. Do as I'm doing, follow, follow me. If I do it high or low, if I do it fast or slow, do as I'm doing, follow, follow me. Do as I'm doing, follow, follow me. <laughs> Yay! Good job, friends. All right, for this next song, I'm going to need your help. 
So here at the library, I have three different colored bikes. I have this bike. What color is this bike? That's right, it's red. I have a red bike. And I have this color bike. What color is this bike? That's right, it's yellow. And I have this bike. What color is this bike? That's right, it's a blue bike. So I have a red bike, a yellow bike, and a blue bike. Now since you're at home, I can't pass out my bikes for you to participate. So I need you to go get three things in your house. One thing that is red, one thing that is yellow, and one thing that is blue. And it can be a piece of clothing. So maybe you have a red shirt that you could grab, or maybe you have a yellow teddy bear, or maybe you have a blue blanket. So you can pause the video while you go and get your three things. One red thing, one yellow thing, and one blue thing. Okay, are you ready with your three colors of things? Can you hold up your red thing? Great job. Can you hold up your yellow thing? Excellent. Can you hold up your blue thing? Perfect. So, I'm going to mix my cards up. And we're going to sing a song. This is to the tune of, Do You Know the Muffin Man? And when I say the color, I'm gonna say bike because my things are bikes. <laughs> and uh, when we say the color, I want you to hold up your colored item and wave it around with me. Are you ready? Okay, so this is our first item. What color is this item? That's right, it's red. So grab your red toy or blanket or clothes or thing and hold it up with me. If you have a red bike, a red bike, a red bike. If you have a red bike, then wave it all around. Good job. Okay, what color is this item? That's right, it's yellow. Hold up your yellow item. If you have a yellow bike, a yellow bike, a yellow bike. If you have a yellow bike, then wave it all around. Good job. Okay, what's our last color? Do you remember? That's right, it's blue. Hold up your blue item. If you have a blue bike, a blue bike, a blue bike. If you have a blue bike, then wave it all around. Yay! Good job. Okay, our last book today is called My Bike, and it's written and illustrated by Byron Barton. Let's see what adventures this bike goes on. I am Tom. There he is. This is my bicycle. What color is Tom's bicycle? That's right, it's green. Good job. Here are all the parts of Tom's bicycle. The chain, the pedals, the fenders, the seat, the brake, the handlebars, the light, the bell, the wheel, and the spokes. I ride my bicycle to work. What else does he have with him when he rides his bicycle to work? He has his helmet. That's super important to protect his brain. And what does he have on his back? A backpack, that's right. 
He's bringing what he needs with him to work. On the way, I pass trucks and buses and lots of cars and lots of people and monkeys. Where do you think his work is? That he passes monkeys on his way to work. I don't pass monkeys on my way to work. Hmm, maybe there will be some more clues. And acrobats. And tigers and lions. This looks like a fun place to work. And elephants. Elephants are some of my very favorite animals. When I get there, I park my bicycle. I put on my uniform. I put on my makeup. Hmm, he's putting on his makeup, his face paint. What do you think Tom's job is? Can you guess? Yeah, I think he's a clown. Is that what you guessed? I climb a tall ladder. Oh, look, he still has his backpack. I wonder what's in his backpack that a clown needs for work. And I go to work. On my unicycle. Look, no hands. Look, he's riding his unicycle across a tightrope, dressed in his clown uniform. Tom must be very brave and have very good balance. Do you know what a unicycle is? A unicycle is like a bicycle, but instead of two wheels, it just has one wheel. Una means one, and bi means two. So a bicycle has two wheels, and a unicycle has one wheel. And then look, there he is, he's riding home, but he still has what on his nose? His red clown's nose. The end. All right, friends, that's the end of our bicycle story time. Join us next week for some more stories about things that go. But now it's time for our goodbye song. We read a book.